has collapsed into the real world. What was once hidden is now laid bare for all to see. She looks a little beat up. is in the air. Oh, Gavarushan. Live to see this day. Just the beginning of the end for the demons. Mankind will be free. Yes. Free from the demons. The path is clear for us to rule. <laughs> what did you just say? The path is clear for us to rule. We rule, dude. To rule what? Paradise. This? Everything. So. You mean like Mundus? No. No. We'll be nothing like Mundus. We'll respect our subjects, not enslave them. Subjects? He means you. He means humans. I thought we were fighting for freedom. What? Why would you think that? It was his freedom we were fighting for, not yours. Don't be so simplistic. I'm Virgil. Deal with it. Humans are frail. They're like children. They need protection. Not just from others, but from themselves. We, you and I, have saved them. You and I saved them? Who else? A human. With a broken arm. Cat was useful, but... Useful? He's Cat actually pretty useless. Saved my life. Cat held out under torture to keep your existence a secret. Cat led us through the tower to Mundus's lair. We would have failed 20 times over if it weren't for her. Listen. If you can't see the chaos that humans will cause, if you don't want the responsibility of protecting them, then stand aside. I'll rule alone. I didn't help you destroy Mundus so that you could take his place. I can't let you do this, Virgil. Virgil confirmed for I final loss. You stop me, brother. Stand aside. No, we must do battle. This. Virgil, please stay out of this. Bitch, fuck off. We got fights. We got a battle. Do it. Let's roar. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a lot harder of a fight, I think. That was just going to be a bunch of quick time events. I don't know what to expect. The fight to decide who will rule over humanity begins now. One to rule them all. Cloud versus Sephiroth, go. Uh. Hey, you fucking cheater hacker. Okay, I see these people. I think they did anyways. No idea what I'm doing at the moment.
Sorry, brother. He still has tons of health. It's not over yet. Seems these can break those. I think I'm starting to get the idea. It's not too late. Yes, it is. He still has a lot of health. Smirking at me. Best part of Virgil, there's apparently two of them. Oh, 
Oh shit. Shit, there's more than one of them. Yes, there is. and I'm really sucking at these dodges. Shit, he gained a lot of air house back. Feels like he's healing each time I'm getting close.
Escape. Oh, but fuck. What's happening? You're shitting me. I have to sit through the whole cutscene. I have to sit through the whole fucking cutscene. I can't even fight him again this without. Hidden is now laid bare for all to see. Oh, Where you gotta be kidding me. I never believed I'd live to see this day. It's the beginning of the end for the demons. You've gotta be fucking shitting me. Mankind How do you exit? Yes. You can't skip this cutscene. Free from the demons. I remember why I didn't play this game for like a day or two. Oh my god, just fucking cutscenes. This thing took forever. Clear for us to uh, I'm hitting the keys. Nothing. This? Everything? Marshall. You mean like Mundus? No. No. God. Like you gotta be Mundus. fucking shitting me. We'll respect our I have to sit through this whole fucking cutscene before I get to fight the boss again. He means you. He means humans. You've gotta be fucking shitting me. For freedom. It was his freedom we were fighting for, not yours. Don't be so simplistic. Humans are frail. They're like children. They need protection. Not just from others, but from I themselves. I can't believe you can't Pat, skip we, this cutscene. You and I have saved them. You and I saved them? Who else? A human. Cat was useful, but useful. Cat held out under torture to keep your existence. I can't fucking skip this. I can't fucking skip this. We would have failed twenty times over if I can't fucking skip this. Listen, if you can't see the chaos that humans will cause, if you don't want the responsibility of protecting them, then stand aside. I'll rule alone. I didn't help you destroy Manda so that you could take his place. I can't let you do this, Virgil. And I can't let you stop me, brother. Stand aside. Can you let me skip this cutscene, please? Virgil, please Asshole. Stay out of this. I'm glad I didn't play it on a harder difficulty. Because this kind of shit would have pissed me off so bad. Like the cutscene lasts longer than the fucking boss fight does, and then you have to sit through it the whole time each time? Hell fucking no. This is like 10 times worse than having to replay a whole shitload of, you know, combat before you get back to wherever it is you lost. You have to fucking sit through the most asinine, boring shit. Hey, I'm still trying to cut. Like, in the hopes that maybe some button I don't know on my keyboard might do anything. Oh my god, I get to actually play. Sorry for what? For making me sit through this cutscene? Ah, 
armor. But... those if I knew how to dodge them, or time it anyways. It's not too late. It's not too late to sit through another cutscene. There's more cutscenes than combat in this boss fight alone. I'm getting better at dodging him. So now he's pulling out some kind of clone. Hitting the blue one looks like it gives me devil trigger thingy. See if this helps. It does. That's all I had to do, I guess, was turn the double trigger on. Makes sense though, because when he made that clone, it started giving me orbs.
Bitch, shut up, stay out of this. It's between brothers. Kill the girl. Kill the girl. This is your conscience speaking. Kill the girl. We can kill your brother later. Kill the girl first. Are you back to your senses, little brother? Like that was fun. Let's do it again. Maybe without the cutscene this time. Dodge a lot of your moves, brother. The world is under my protection now. You've chosen the wrong side. You're not human, Dante. You never will be. Neither are you, so what? He wins the girl too, but she's all beat up, so it's not really that much of a win. I loved you, brother. <laughs> but you're a bunch of tools, I'm out of here, bitches. Fuck yo. I didn't want to rule the world anyways. Also, I wasn't trying very hard. He's gonna get laid again. One of her hands is broken, so you're gonna have to use your mouth. Whoa. Okay, so that was the final battle. Rolling credits. So, my thoughts so far, I think there's still more stuff to play in this, but my current impressions, this game's got a serious fucking problem of too many cutscenes, not enough combat. There's two things I'm really disliking in this game. One is the grappling mechanics. Uh, there's just too much of it, and it just seems so fucking gimmicky. Like, it has its applications in combat, but there's too much platforming bullshit in comparison. This isn't Tomb Raider, this is fucking Devil May Cry. It's supposed to be a lot of fights, and it's supposed to be difficult as fuck, and kick your ass. Which comes to the other problem, which is the fucking cutscenes, again. I mean, shit, the last fight alone had, like, what, seven or eight cutscenes during the fight? Ah. <sighs> like, otherwise it was okay, I suppose. But the sheer number of cutscenes and crap makes me not want to fucking play this again on, like, harder difficulties. I just don't want to sit through all that fucking garbage again. Especially when you know you're going to be dying a lot more and replaying things over and over trying to survive and... having to sit through more fucking cutscenes. Especially if they're unskippable cutscenes. Some of the cutscenes can be skipped. But, like, that last one before the... Uh, before the... Before that final fight. It was unskippable. This is kind of what the problem is with... Hey, I noticed... I, I recognize the VST filter. They were using there. It was a fab filter. 
He said combi crash is alright. I guess that's a good move. Industrial bands are always good. May not be a fan of like the latest combi crash stuff, but And yeah, that's I'm just surprised they didn't throw in quick time vents everywhere. Like that's the only thing that would have sealed the deal for this to be a modern game is massive cutscenes, too little combat, too easy, and just quick time events everywhere. I guess they said, eh, well, instead of quick time events, we'll just throw in the grappling mechanics and stuff in between everything anyways, and then that'll be funny and like no one's gonna care, it's just this is this is the modern age of the Wii and Wii Fitness and all this shit, and no one cares, no one plays games for games anymore. Like, I mean, shit, I use one orb thing that lets you continue the game, but even, even so, all other times, if you die, it says game over and you just continue literally right where you left off with full HP again. Like, it may affect your score or something, but I don't give a shit about the score. Especially not in my first playthrough. So, it's just, there's a lot of things that just kind of, you know, head scratching. You're wondering if they're going to make a Devil May Cry 6? Probably. Like, why wouldn't they? I guess that's one of my beefs too, is this is yet another fucking game where a sequel was made in the series that claims the original name instead, even though it's not a remake of the original. So you had like Devil May Cry 1, 2, 3, 4, and then instead of 5, they decided, yeah, we're just going to call this one Devil May Cry as well. Like, forget the 5, we're just going to call it Devil May Cry. Like, forget Doom, Doom 4, we're just going to call it Doom. Forget, why... Are fucking developers doing this? I don't know what the story is either as far as the development studio. Like, I don't know if it's the same people that made the previous games or not. Like, I didn't research anything. A lot of times, it seems when somebody else gets the intellectual property rights to make a sequel, they have a habit of doing that kind of shit. And they're like, yeah, we're just going to take off the number and no one will know. Devil May Cry 99? They'll probably call that one Devil May Cry, as well. This game uses natural motion, morphine, animation, technology. Yeah, if you want a good Devil May Cry game, it's dated, but the first one was awesome, and the third one is awesome. Um, both of them are kind of like the core of what this series was. For all intents and purposes, there is no Devil May Cry 2. Devil May Cry 4 is fun. I remember playing it on my Xbox, and it wasn't the best, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. It was mainly, uh, you had to, like, learn a whole new character, which was like the Raiden effect of Metal Gear Solid 2, where it's like, uh, who the fuck is this guy? Like, why do I care? Why do I have to learn this new shit? But once you got used to it, and... He had a grappling mechanic to him, too, in combat, but you could do all sorts of neat, fun stuff, and it was part of the bosses, and this and that, and it was fun. How long does this credit shit go on? There, I just hit space. I don't want to sit through all that anymore. For all I know, it might loop forever. It was something we played where, I, like, I sat at the credits for, like, 30 minutes before I realized, wait a minute, they're actually looping this shit over and over. You have completed Devil May Cry. A new mode unlocks, son of Smarta, with brand new remixed enemy setup and behaviors. Try this new difficulty level next. New costume unlocked, white hair Dante. Ooh, I already have white hair though, on Dante. <laughs>